Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Join our hosts as they step aboard the TRB Skimmer Skiff, a flats boat designed for shallow water fishing in serious style. The TRB Skimmer Skiff has an overall length of 16 feet 6 inches, a beam of 5 feet 9 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 60. Built for slicing through a chop and floating shallow, she has a draft of 6 inches, a dead rise of 5 degrees, a dry weight of 600 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 10 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts. George, today is a special day. We got a new boat here. It's a skimmer skiff, but it's TRB edition. Now, you have some experience with Two River Boat Works with Project Dream Boat. They brought this boat to us, and it is fully custom to the T. And I'm really looking forward to everything that's on this boat and seeing what they've done but I'm afraid that I'm gonna go home with a checklist on what I want my boat to start having. Yeah, I completely understand. Now, this is a departure from a, uh, our typical model for the show, Lori. I mean, normally we're gonna bring you a boat that's built by a manufacturer and you get the boat that they build. And certainly they've got options they can add to it and you can choose which options you want, but this takes it way over to the next level. This is taking a boat that's a blank canvas and then adding a bunch of different really high-end options that you won't be able to get from the original manufacturer. It's a really special boat and I'm looking forward to spending the day on it. Let's go, George, it's gorgeous out today. This boat begins its life as a 16-foot skimmer skiff, but is leveled up to something entirely different by the team at Two Rivers Boat Works. You might be familiar with this shop if you're a fan of our sister show, Project Dream Boat. The finishing details completed that make this Two Rivers Custom Shop edition stand out in a crowd are part aesthetics and part functionality. To begin with the build, TRB chose a shark gray color from the All Grip color chart and had skimmer skiffs color match this into a gel coat to be applied into the hull mold from the start. TRB had a very particular look in mind for this project and wanted the finished colors and extensive deck matting to suggest a specific vibe. Continuing in this theme, all of the metallic hardware, and I mean everything that could be done, from the polling platform and jack plate to each deck drain and through hull fitting, were removed and sent out to be finished in Cerakote. This unique satin finish imparts a very classy tone to the overall look of this skiff. Today we had sea deck that lined the entire boat, which was really nice. It's like walking on carpet at home. There is a huge difference, and it's easier on the back if you ask me. But what I really like about Sea Deck is when you're doing a custom boat, you don't have to have that one color. There is a variety of colors. Ladies, you could even throw in some pink in there if you wanted to. Next, a custom console dash panel was fabricated and smoked acrylic glass work was installed for the windscreen and helm face, along with a smoked acrylic lid for the live well. On the dash panel, TRB chose a Simrad Go 12 MFD unit for electronics and decided to add C-Zone digital switching for a clean looking display. The C-Zone hardware is easily accessed in the console. A wireless cell phone charging pad was added inside the console as well. A JL Audio Media Master 50 audio system along with four JL 8.8 .8 color controlled speakers were installed for cruising days and beach partying and a full RGBW lighting suite from the interior to the matched underwater Lumitec Quattro RGBW lights on the transom were used for after dark effects. The controller for the multicolor light effects is located on a dial found on a custom switch panel mounted into the bulkhead behind your legs from the driver's position. This panel also features electronic start and stop buttons for the mercury outboard and a lift controller for the jack plate. For a combination of utility and style, TRB installed a Minn Kota trolling motor designed for freshwater use due to its black finish color in keeping with the overall appearance of this project. They later retrofitted the working components of this motor to saltwater friendly parts to avoid the corrosion issue since this boat will primarily be used in salt water. For power to the trolling motor, a pair of lithium batteries and a stealth charging system were installed to keep weight down and the batteries always topped off. The boat rode fantastic and that proved today when George was going over some boat wake. I actually held myself down waiting to roll. Never happened. Good job, Dale. This Two Rivers custom project has taken what might ordinarily be considered an entry-level flats boat from a features versus cost standpoint into previously uncharted territory. Each of these modifications are unusually specific to the needs of a very particular buyer and not what you'd find on most production boats by a long shot. The fact is that this boat only demonstrates what can be done to a bare boat skeleton 
when the only limits you have are the depth of your imagination along with the funds to match. George, what really impressed me today about this boat is it's brand new and it's custom. When you think of a custom boat, you're usually taking in an older boat to try to make it look new, put new things on there to revamp it. This was a brand new boat and it is revamped to that cool factor because now you've got all the technology on top of a new boat and it's not an older hull. Yeah, it, it does make sense and it's a good point. You know, the whole idea of not doing a resto mod on an older boat but taking a blank canvas brand new boat and building it the way you like, it's kind of a novel idea and I think that the Two Rivers Edition Skimmer Skiff is a great example of what you can do with that. But, you know, that's not limited to just this boat too. I mean, think of the possibilities. I think they're really limitless and I think this is a very exciting trend that we might be seeing coming down the pike in the future of boating. I mean, I, this is something that really has got a lot of legs and I'm very curious to see where this goes from here. But as far as I'm concerned, the Skimmer Skiff by Two Rivers it's definitely something worth checking out.